What's up, everybody? Calvin Yomura here from Insaga.com. And I have Andrea Horvath. Uh, she's going for the premiere of Ontario on June 2nd. Uh, I'm going to ask you a lot of localized questions, if that's OK. Fantastic. It's great to be here, Khaled. Thanks for the invitation. Awesome. Um, let me ask. I know I, I talk to the mayors all the time here. Um, and I know Mayor Bonnie Crombie. She always says she wants to leave Peel. Mrs. Saga wants to leave Peel. Will you allow that? to happen. This is a conversation, Kella, that's been happening for some time now, and uh, there's real concern around the uh, regional model and the voices at the table and the uh, the the impact of, of those conversations, uh, depending on who happens to be, uh, you know, talking about an issue that's a priority to their particular community within the uh, regional uh, model. I think it's important to have that discussion with all of the players uh, at the regional uh, level of government. I, I know in Hamilton, we were told that we had to amalgamate, get rid of the two-tier system. Uh, that was something that was harmful to our community and it still to this day creates some friction. Uh, so when it comes to municipal governments and whether it's a two-tier, which you have now, whether it's one tier, whether there's a uh, amalgamations. I'm, I'm not the type of person and I wouldn't be the type of premier that, um, that, that you know, that dictates what happens at the local level. I, I believe in having those, uh, those conversations with all of impacted and affected and trying to come out, out with a solution that works for, uh, for everyone. Awesome. And then uh, I know um, we are looking for reinstating the LRT loop around the city centre. I'm not sure if you know, but Mrs. I'm sure you do know, but Mississauga has about 50 approved condos that are around that loop. Um, and uh, we want, uh, the city of Mississauga wants it reinstated. Will you reinstate the LRT loop? Absolutely. Again, this is not dissimilar from my previous response because nobody knows what works better for their community than the people that have made, been making those decisions uh, over the last number of years. The people who are uh, very engaged at the uh, granular level uh, about the planning, uh, both transportation planning and uh, and and uh, you know growth planning that municipalities need to do. I, I respect the, the local order of government very very much, having been a city councillor myself in the past and so yes i guess i should have said that off the top yes okay. if, if that's okay. something that's going to work for mississauga then that's something i'm prepared to uh to agree to I'm awesome i'm sure people in mississauga will be happy about that especially the people in the city center uh the federal government is saying they're waiting for the province for half a billion dollars to pay for the all-day two-way go to milton that goes through mississauga uh will you give that money to uh you know the Will you, will you give the money to build this uh, two-way go? We've been advocating for all day two-way go uh, to the on the routes that you're talking about, as well as on routes uh, that take us all the way to Kitchener and Waterloo, that take us down to Niagara, the Niagara region and Niagara Falls. Uh, th th that's the smart way to plan transit and to uh, to make sure that we can continue to grow our system and get people out of their cars. So absolutely yes, and and I prefer those kinds of investments to massive highways that lead to massive mansions that nobody can afford, which is what uh, what Doug Ford's uh, preference is because it helps his buddies. It, it helps his developer buddies. I'm focused on what helps communities, what helps our environment, uh, and what, uh, what helps uh, uh, to make sure people can get to A to B without having to, to drive their car. Um, um, your fellow NDP, Gretan Singh, is always waving the flag for Brampton. And one of the things in Brampton, obviously, insurance is crazy in Brampton, the, the cost of insurance, car insurance, sorry. Um, how will you make the car insurance cheaper in Mississauga, Brampton, and just Ontario as a whole? I'm so glad you uh, asked that question, Kelly, because we've just unveiled our uh, commitment on auto insurance. We're going to reduce auto insurance rates by 40% for all drivers in Ontario. And we're gonna start with banning any increases for the next 18 months, as well as banning postal code discrimination. Uh, and in that 18 month period where increases are banned, we will set a, a fairness, uh, an insurance price fairness commission in place to give us the, the possible possible ways to get to that 40%. We know some provinces, uh, like in Quebec, you pay $851 on average for auto insurance. 
in Ontario averages over sixteen hundred dollars, sixteen hundred and sixty odd dollars. Manitoba, Saskatchewan, British Columbia, uh, rates are significantly lower. Our province has the fewest number of accidents, and yet we pay the highest insurance rates across around the country. There are different models that these provinces use. We're going to strike that commission. Uh, to get to the model that reduces rates by 40% for Ontarians. It's a commitment that, uh, uh, that, that we're making because we know how expensive it is and how expensive everything else is getting to. People need a break. And uh, also sticking with Brampton, uh, a third, even a fourth hospital, um, is it coming if uh, you become Premier? Absolutely. Uh, absolutely. There's uh, there's just no doubt that Brampton has been the epicenter of hallway medicine and of uh, uh, of uh, the healthcare crisis when it comes to hospital capacity. But it's not new. It's been it's been year after year after year after year that uh, conservative and liberal governments have promised to fix the healthcare uh, problems in in Brampton, but but nothing's been done. So yes, we've committed to a full hospital with. 24/7 ER and acute beds at Peel Memorial, uh, making sure that uh, uh, that the great work that's done at Brampton Civic is funded appropriately too. I mean, those those folks have worked hard to try to provide as much uh, healthcare access as possible, hospital access as possible. They're they're run off their feet. They need to be properly funded. A third full hospital for Brampton is necessary based on population, not only population now, but uh, continued growth. And, and finally, the cancer care center. Uh, that's something that Sarah Singh, as you know, has been advocating for quite vocally, and, and we've made that commitment as well. Awesome. And then um, we talked about, obviously, a lot of promises. Um, how will all this be paid for? Well, we are, uh, we're going to be very shortly releasing our complete costing. Some of our big announcements, we've already um, included costing in them. So today I was talking about mental health care, for example, being able to get mental health care with your OHIP card, folding it into the public health system uh, so people don't have to pay out of their pocket for the mental health uh, care that they need, just like the physical health care that they need. Uh, but uh, we are going to not... Uh, allow any increases in taxes for middle and uh, lower income families. So we will freeze taxes for middle and lower income families. Uh, but those big corporations that uh, uh, that raked in uh, extra profits, multi-million dollars of profits, uh, uh, profit windfalls that happened during the uh, the COVID-19 pandemic, we're going to ask them to contribute a little bit more. And there's many, many multi-millionaires in our province. Uh, we're going to ask them to help us fix the things that have been broken for too long. And on June 2nd, um, you're talking straight to the voters. Why should they vote for Andrew Horvath from the NDP? I think that the COVID-19 pandemic has shown us just how many things are broken in Ontario. Uh, you know, we, we know that uh, the hospital system that we were just talking about, the long-term care system, uh, you know, our seniors care overall, the education system have been broken by successive liberal and conservative governments. Uh, certainly the liberals had a chance for 15 years. People were very disappointed with the lack of progress. Uh, Doug Ford's made things even worse uh, because his focus is on his buddies. Uh, so this time let's come together and, uh, and, 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 and take the best shot that we have of getting, uh, getting Doug Ford out of office, because I know six out of 10 people prefer not to see Doug Ford in office this time. In order to do that, your best shot is to, is to vote NDP. Uh, we have great strength going into this campaign, uh, into this election day. Uh, but it's also really important to note that instead of a premier that works for his buddies, this time you can have a premier that works for you. And I'm gonna put you on the spot, Andrea. When you come to Mississauga or Brampton, where do you eat at? Oh, I, there are just so many great places, so many great restaurants. And whether it's in, uh, in the kind of on the waterfront area by the marina there, whether it's in, in Brampton and some of the uh, actually not the last time I was in, in Brampton, but the time before uh, I got. I got a care package of Indian food from the downtown and I took it home to Hamilton and my son and I feasted on it for two days. So there's uh, there's all kinds you of great things. Samosas. Yeah, absolutely. Awesome. Cool. Thank you so much, uh, Andrea, and uh, good luck on June 2nd. Thank you so much, Khaled. Nice to talk to you. Nice talking to you too.